Bison, Wikipedia article audio. B. Bison, B. Bonagius, B. Antiquus, B. Hannah Isamensis, B. Lottie Franz, B. Occident Alice, B. Paleocenensis, B. Priscus, B. Scoetensaki. Bison are large, even toed ungulates in the genus Bison within the subfamily Bovini. Description Evolution and genetic history Two extant and six extinct species are recognized. Of the six extinct species, five went extinct in the Quaternary Extinction Event. Bison Paleocenensis evolved in the early Pleistocene in South Asia, and was the evolutionary ancestor of B. Priscus, which was the ancestor of all other bison species. From 2 Maya to 6000 BC, steppe bison ranged across the Mammoth Steppe, inhabiting Europe and Northern Asia with B. Scoetensaki, and North America with B. Antiquus, B. Lodi Franz, and B. Occident Alice. The last species to go extinct, B. Occident Alice, was succeeded at 3000 BC by B. Bison. Of the two surviving species, the American bison, B. bison, found only in North America, is the more numerous. Although commonly known as a buffalo in the United States and Canada, it is only distantly related to the true buffalo. The North American species is composed of two subspecies, the plains bison, B. B. bison, and the wood bison, B. B. athabasci which is the namesake of Wood Buffalo National Park in Canada. A third subspecies, the eastern woodland bison is no longer considered a valid taxon, being a junior synonym of BB bison. To woods bison or wood bison from the eastern United States confusingly refer to this subspecies, not BB athabasci, which was not found in the region. The European bison, B. Bonagius, or Vizent, is found in Europe and the Caucasus, reintroduced after being extinct in the wild. While all bison species are classified in their own genus, they are sometimes bred with domestic cattle and produce fertile offspring called B. Follow or Zubrin. The American bison and the European bison are the largest surviving terrestrial animals in North America and Europe. Bison are good swimmers and can cross rivers over half a mile wide. They are nomadic grazers and travel in herds. The bulls leave the herds of females at two or three years of age, and join a male herd, which are generally smaller than female herds. Mature bulls rarely travel alone. Towards the end of the summer, for the reproductive season, the sexes necessarily commingle. American bison are known for living in the Great Plains, but formerly had a much larger range including much of the eastern United States and parts of Mexico. Both species were hunted close to extinction during the 19th and 20th centuries, but have since rebounded, the Vizent owing its survival, in part, to the Chernobyl disaster, ironically, as the Chernobyl exclusion zone has become a kind of wildlife preserve for Vizent and other rare megafauna such as the Prowalski's horse, though poaching has become a threat in recent years. The American Plains bison is no longer listed as endangered, but this does not mean the species is secure. Genetically pure BB bison currently number only 20,000 separated into fragmented herds all of which require active conservation measures. The wood bison is on the endangered species list in Canada and is listed as threatened in the United States, though there have been numerous attempts by bee follow ranchers to have it entirely removed from the endangered species list. Behavior Although superficially similar, physical and behavioral differences exist between the American and European bison. 
the American species has 15 ribs, while the European bison has 14. The American bison has 4 lumbar vertebrae, while the European has 5. Adult American bison are less slim in build and have shorter legs. American bison tend to graze more, and browse less than their European relatives. Their anatomies reflect this behavioral difference, the American bison's head hangs lower than the Europeans. The body of the American bison is typically hairier, though its tail has less hair than that of the European bison. The horns of the European bison point through the plane of their faces, making them more adept at fighting through the interlocking of horns in the same manner as domestic cattle, unlike the American bison, which favors budding. American bison are more easily tamed than their European cousins, and breed with domestic cattle more readily. The bovine tribe split about 5 to 10 million years ago into the buffaloes and a group leading to bison and taurine cattle. Thereafter, the family lineage of bison and taurine cattle does not appear to be a straightforward tree structure as is often depicted in much evolution, because evidence of interbreeding and crossbreeding is seen between different species and members within this family even many millions of years after their ancestors separated into different species. This crossbreeding was not sufficient to conflate the different species back together, but it has resulted in unexpected relationships between many members of this group, such as yak being related to American bison, when such relationships would otherwise not be apparent. Habitat a 2003 study of mitochondrial DNA indicated four distinct maternal lineages in tribe bovini. However, Y chromosome analysis associated Vizent and American bison. An earlier study using amplified fragment length polymorphism fingerprinting showed a close association of Vizent with American bison, and probably with the yak but noted that the interbreeding of bovine species made determining relationships problematic. The bison genus diverged from the lineage that led to cattle at the Pleistocene boundary in South Asia. Two extant and six extinct species are recognized. Of the six extinct species, five went extinct in the Quaternary Extinction Event. Three were North American endemics. Bison antiquus, B. lati frons, and B. occident alis. The fourth, B. priscus, ranged across steppe environments from Western Europe, through Central Asia, East Asia including Japan, and on to North America. The fifth, B. scoetensaki, inhabited Eurasian forests, extending from Western Europe to the south of Siberia. Restrictions The sixth, B. paleocenensis, evolving in the early Pleistocene in South Asia, is presumed to have been the evolutionary ancestor of B. priscus and all successive bison lineages. The steppe bison evolved from bison paleocenensis in the early Pleistocene. B. priscus is seen clearly in the fossil record around 2 million years ago. The steppe bison spread across Eurasia, and all preceding contemporary and successive species are believed to have derived from the steppe bison. Going extinct in 6000 BCE, outlasted only by B. occidentalis, B. bonagis and B. bison, the steppe bison was the predominant bison pictured in the ancient cave paintings of Spain and southern France. Diet the modern European bison is likely to have arisen from the steppe bison. There is no direct fossil evidence of successive species between the steppe bison and the European bison, though there are three possible lines of ancestry pertaining to the European Vizent. Past research has suggested that the European bison is descended from bison that had migrated from Asia to North America, and then back to Europe 
where they crossbred with existing steppe bison. However, more recent phylogenetic research points to an origin either from the phenotypically and genetically similar Pleistocene woodland bison or as the result of an interbreeding event between the steppe bison and the aurochs, the ancestor of domesticated cattle, around 120,000 years ago. The possible hybrid is referred to in vernacular as the Higgs bison as a hat tip to the discovery process of the Higgs boson. Predators At one point, some steppe bison crossbred with the ancestors of the modern yak. After that crossbreeding, a population of steppe bison crossed the Bering Land Bridge to North America. The steppe bison spread through the northern parts of North America and lived in Eurasia until around 11,000 years ago and North America until 4,000 to 8,000 years ago. The Pleistocene woodland bison evolved in the middle Pleistocene from B. priscus, and tended to inhabit the dry conifer forests and woodland which lined the mammoth steppe, occupying a range from Western Europe to the south of Siberia. Although their fossil records are far rarer than their antecedent, they are thought to have existed until at least 36,000 BCE. Infections and Illness Bison Lottie fronds is thought to have evolved in mid-continent North America from B. priscus, after the steppe bison crossed into North America. Giant bison appeared in the fossil record about 120,000 years ago. B. Lottie fronds was one of many species of North American megafauna that became extinct during the transition from the Pleistocene to the Holocene epoch. It is thought to have disappeared some 21,0030,000 years ago, during the late Wisconsin glaciation. B. Lottie fronds co existed with the slightly smaller B. antiquus for over 100,000 years. Their predecessor, the steppe bison appeared in the North American fossil record around 190,000 years ago. B. Lottie fronds is believed to have been a more woodland-dwelling, non-herding species, while B. antiquus was a herding grassland-dweller, very much like its descendant B. bison. B. antiquus gave rise to both B. occidentalis, and later B. bison the modern American bison, some 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. B. antiquus was the most common megafaunal species on the North American continent during much of the late Pleistocene and is the most commonly found large animal found at the La Brea tar pits. In 2016, DNA extracted from bison priscus fossil remains beneath a 130000 year old volcanic ash fall in the Yukon suggested recent arrival of the species. That genetic material indicated that all American bison had a common ancestor 135,000 to 195,000 years ago, during which period the Bering Land Bridge was exposed. This hypothesis precludes an earlier arrival. The researchers sequenced mitochondrial genomes from both that specimen and from the remains of a recently discovered, estimated 120,000-year-old giant, long-horned, B. Lottie fronds from Snowmass, Colorado. The genetic information also indicated that a second, Pleistocene migration of bison over the land bridge occurred 21,000 to 45,000 years ago. During the population bottleneck, after the great slaughter of American bison during the 19th century, the number of bison remaining alive in North America declined to as low as 541. During that period, a handful of ranchers gathered remnants of the existing herds to save the species from extinction. These ranchers bred some of the bison with cattle in an effort to produce cattle. Leo accidental crossings were also known to occur. Generally, male domestic bulls were crossed with buffalo cows, producing offspring of which only the females were fertile. 
The crossbred animals did not demonstrate any form of hybrid vigor, so the practice was abandoned. Vizent American bison hybrids were briefly experimented with in Germany and a herd of such animals is maintained in Russia. A herd of cattle Vizent crossbreeds is maintained in Poland. First generation crosses do not occur naturally, requiring caesarean delivery. First generation males are infertile. The U.S. National Bison Association has adopted a code of ethics that prohibits its members from deliberately crossbreeding bison with any other species. In the United States, many ranchers are now using DNA testing to cull the residual cattle genetics from their bison herds. The proportion of cattle DNA that has been measured in introgressed individuals and bison herds today is typically quite low ranging from 0.56 to 1.8 percent. There are also remnant purebred American bison herds on public lands in North America. Three herds are in Yellowstone National Park, Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota, Elk Island National Park in Alberta, Canada, and Grasslands National Park in Saskatchewan, Canada. In 2015 a fourth purebred herd of 350 individuals was identified on public lands in the Henry Mountains of southern Utah via genetic testing of mitochondrial and nuclear DNA. This study, published in 2015, also showed the Henry Mountains bison herd to be free of brucellosis a bacterial disease that was imported with non-native domestic cattle to North America. Name Wallowing is a common behavior of bison. A bison wallow is a shallow depression in the soil, either wet or dry. Bison roll in these depressions, covering themselves with mud or dust. Possible explanations suggested for wallowing behavior include grooming behavior associated with molting, male-male interaction, social behavior for group cohesion, play behavior, relief from skin irritation due to biting insects, reduction of ectoparasite load, and thermoregulation. In the process of wallowing, bison may become infected by the fatal disease anthrax, which may occur naturally in the soil. Human Impact Bison temperament is often unpredictable. They usually appear peaceful, unconcerned, even lazy, yet they may attack anything, often without warning or apparent reason. They can move at speeds up to 35 miles per hour and cover long distances at a lumbering gallop. Boyd, D. Conservation of North American Bison, Status and Recommendations Master's Dissertation, University of Calgary Kunfer, Jeff, and Bill Waser. Bison and People on the North American Great Plains, A Deep Environmental History. College Station, TX, Texas A&M University Press, 2016, Halbert, N., Dare, J. A Comprehensive Evaluation of Cattle Introgression into U.S. Federal Bison Herds. Journal of Heredity 98, Neshim, David A. Profit, Preservation, and Shifting Definitions of Bison in American Environmental History 17, 547-77 doi 10.1093-anvay is slash m048, Ward, T.J., Bielofsky J.P., Davis, S.K., Templeton, J.W., Dare, J.N. Identification of Domestic Cattle Hybrids in Wild Cattle and Bison Species, a general approach using mtDNA markers and the parametric bootstrap. Animal Conservation. DOI 
10.1111/j.1469-1795.19 99.tb00048.x Their most obvious weapons are the horns borne by both males and females, but their massive heads can be used as battering rams effectively using the momentum produced by what is a typical weight of 2,000 pounds moving at 30 miles per hour. The hind legs can also be used to kill or maim with devastating effect. In the words of early naturalists, they were dangerous, savage animals that feared no other animal and in prime condition could best any foe. The rutting, or mating, Season lasts from June through September, with peak activity in July and August. At this time, the older bulls rejoin the herd, and fights often take place between bulls. The herd exhibits much restlessness during breeding season. The animals are belligerent, unpredictable, and most dangerous. American bison live in river valleys and on prairies and plains. Typical habitat is open or semi-open grasslands, as well as sagebrush, semi-arid lands, and scrublands. Some lightly wooded areas are also known historically to have supported bison. They also graze in hilly or mountainous areas where the slopes are not steep. Though not particularly known as high-altitude animals, Bison in the Yellowstone Park bison herd are frequently found at elevations above 8,000 feet and the Henry Mountains bison herd is found on the plains around the Henry Mountains, Utah, as well as in mountain valleys of the Henry Mountains to an altitude of 10,000 feet. Nutrition Meat Industry Footnotes European bison tend to live in lightly wooded to fully wooded areas and areas with increased shrubs and bushes, though they can also live on grasslands and plains. Throughout most of their historical range, landowners have sought restrictions on free-ranging bison. Herds on private land are required be fenced in. In the state of Montana, free-ranging bison on public lands may be shot due to concerns about transmission of disease to cattle and damage to public property. In 2013, Montana legislative measures concerning the bison were proposed and passed the legislature, but opposed by Native American tribes as they impinged on sovereign tribal rights. Three such bills were vetoed by Steve Bullock, the governor of Montana. The bison's circumstances remain an issue of contention between Native American tribes and private landowners. Bison are ruminants, which allows them to derive their energy from cell walls. Bison were once thought to almost exclusively consume grasses and sedges, but are now known to consume a wide variety of plants including woody plants and herbaceous eudicots. Over the course of the year, Bison shift which plants they select in their diet based on which plants have the highest protein or energy concentrations at a given time and will reliably consume the same species of plants across years. Protein concentrations of the plants they eat tend to be highest in the spring and decline thereafter, reaching their lowest in the winter. In Yellowstone National Park, bison browsed willows and cottonwoods not only in the winter when few other plants are available, but also in the summer. Bison are thought to migrate to optimize their diet, and will concentrate their feeding on recently burned areas due to the higher quality forage the regrows after the burn. Vizent tend to browse on shrubs and low-hanging trees more often than do the American bison, which prefer grass to shrubbery and trees. Due to their size, Bison have few predators. Four notable exceptions are humans, the gray wolf, brown bear, and coyote. The gray wolf generally takes down a bison while in a pack, but cases of a single wolf killing bison have been reported. 
brown bear also consume bison, often by driving off the pack and consuming the wolf's kill. Brown bear and coyotes also prey on bison calves. Historically and prehistorically, lions, tigers, Smilodon, Homotherium, cave hyenas and Homo sp had posed threats to bison. For the American bison, the main cause of illness is malignant catarrhal fever, though brucellosis is a serious concern in the Yellowstone Park bison herd. Bison in the Antelope Island bison herd are regularly inoculated against brucellosis, parasites, clostridium infection, infectious bovine rhinotracheitis, and bovine vibriosis. The major concerns for illness in European bison are foot and mouth disease and balanopositis, which affects the male sex organs. A number of parasitic diseases have also been cited as threats. The inbreeding of the species caused by the small population plays a role in a number of genetic defects and immunity to diseases, which in turn poses greater risks to the population. The term buffalo is sometimes considered to be a misnomer for this animal, as it is only distantly related to either of the two true buffalo, the Asian water buffalo and the African buffalo. Samuel de Champlain applied the term buffalo to the bison in 1616, after seeing skins and a drawing shown to him by members of the Nipissing First Nation, who said they traveled 40 days to trade with another nation who hunted the animals. Though bison might be considered more scientifically correct, as a result of standard usage, Buffalo is also considered correct and is listed in many dictionaries as an acceptable name for American buffalo or bison. Buffalo has a much longer history than bison, which was first recorded in 1774. Humans were almost exclusively accountable for the near extinction of the American bison in the 1800s. At the beginning of the century, Tens of millions of bison roamed North America. American settlers slaughtered an estimated 50 million bison during the 19th century. Railroads were advertising hunting by rail, where trains encountered large herds alongside or crossing the tracks. Men aboard fired from the train's roof or windows, leaving countless animals to rot where they died. The overhunting of the bison reduced their population to hundreds. Attempts to revive the American bison have been highly successful. Farming of bison has increased their population to nearly 150,000. The American bison is, therefore, no longer considered an endangered species. The extinction of four species of bison was due to natural selection. As of July 2015, an estimated 4,900 bison lived in Yellowstone National Park, the largest U.S. bison population on public land. During 1983-1985 visitors experienced 33 bison-related injuries, so the park implemented education campaigns. After years of success, Five injuries associated with bison encounters occurred in 2015, because visitors did not maintain the required distance of 75 feet from bison while hiking or taking pictures. Bison is an excellent source of complete protein and a rich source of multiple vitamins including riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12 and is also a rich source of minerals including iron, phosphorus, and zinc. Additionally, bison is a good source of thiamine. In America, the commercial industry for bison has been slow to develop despite individuals, such as Ted Turner, who have long marketed bison meat. In the 1990s, Turner found limited success with restaurants for high-quality cuts of meat which include bison steaks and tenderloin. 
Lower quality cuts suitable for hamburger and hot dogs have been described as almost non-existent. This created a marketing problem for commercial farming because the majority of usable meat, about 400 pounds for each bison, is suitable for these products. In 2003, the United States Department of Agriculture purchased $10 million worth of frozen overstock to save the industry, which would later recover through better use of consumer marketing. Restaurants have played a role in popularizing bison meat, like Ted's Montana Grill, which added bison to their menus. Ruby Tuesday first offered bison on their menus in 2005. In Canada, commercial bison farming began in the mid-1980s, concerning an unknown number of animals then. The first census of the bison occurred in 1996 which recorded 45,235 bison on 745 farms, and grew to 195,728 bison on 1,898 farms for the 2006 census. Several pet food companies use bison as a red meat alternative in dog foods. The companies producing these formulas include Natural Balance Pet Foods, Freshbit, The Blue Buffalo Company, Solid Gold, Canada, and Taste of the Wild. Further reading